First of all, the Security Council is going to be adopting a very important presidential statement on the four famines, which for the first time links the four famines to conflict. You know, famines are caused now not just by the weather, not just by overcrowding, uh, but by man-made factors, and particularly man-made conflicts. And it's important that this is on, on the Security Council's agenda. Secondly, uh, the Russians are going to be updating us on the humanitarian situation in Syria. I hope that they will be telling us uh, everything they have been doing to get the Syrian regime to do what they should have been doing for five years, uh, namely to get humanitarian supplies into every besieged and hard-to-reach area. I somehow doubt that that's what they'll say, but that's what they should be saying. And then on North Korea, the UK continues to uh, work very closely with the United States and with all our international partners to make sure uh, that the DPRK is not able to pursue uh, its nuclear and its intercontinental ballistic missile programs. Isn't the President's uh, comments on Wednesday, excuse me, on Tuesday, inflaming the situation? Is this how you persuade Pyongyang to return to six party talks and to back away from its own threats to bomb the U.S. and other countries? The United Kingdom stands shoulder to shoulder with the United States in tackling this threat and many others. Uh, we are united in calling on the North Korean regime to halt its uh, nuclear program. Uh, the whole of the Security Council has come together behind that. Uh, and I think that we should see uh, the President's uh, public comments as one of the strands, one of the many strands uh, of U.S. activity. But doesn't the U.S. hold an outsized uh, importance when the President makes these sorts of comments? It's not as if the United States has been very clear uh, about its position. The United Kingdom has been very clear about our position, and we call on the DPRK regime to listen uh, to that clarity, to act on that clarity, to halt uh, its nuclear program, to halt its intercontinental ballistic missile program, uh, and it holds the key uh, to, uh, to, to, to sanctions being removed. Is this going to hurt efforts to bring um, the six parties back to negotiations? And if not, how, how, is, how could this happen? What needs to be done? What's hurting the six-party talks is the inability so far of the North Korean regime to do what it has to do, which is to halt uh, its nuclear program and to halt its inter intercontinental ballistic missile program. On Cameroon, yeah. yesterday, yesterday three, three ministers of the Cameroon government met with the Deputy Secretary General about the issue in the Anglophone areas, right. something you've spoken about before. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you.